Zoltz had a video on the different PKM systems, personal knowledge management systems you can use. He talks about the different styles, and I'll put a link in the description because he can explain much better than me, but I'm going to quickly try and run through the main ideas. So the first PKM style you can utilize is the random mess approach, which I would not recommend. This is having no structure at all. So if you talk about digital note taking, you have one folder, whenever you make a new note, whether it is on a book, a recipe, health insurance, exercise, you all just throw it under one blanket. There's no organization. Notes are recorded all over the place, they are disconnected. In reading Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte, he brings forth the concept of PERA, and that stands for projects, areas, resources, and archives. And he suggests that whenever you make a new note, you follow this approach. You go from top, to bottom. So you have a new note, you go through from the top and say, is this related to a project I'm working on now? Is this a work-related project or does it fall into the category of one of my personal projects? If it does not, you go to the next step, which is areas. Is it an area, does this note relate to an area I'm committed to in the long term? So this would be finances, home, family. If it does not, then you go to resources. Is this something I can utilize again in the future? So this would be a structure for a PowerPoint or a recipe layout. This is something you can reuse to save time in the future. If it's not one of the top three categories, then you're just going to go place it in archives that if you want to get back to it, you can find it in the future, but you don't see an immediate need to save it somewhere where you will see it every single day. So this structure mainly falls into the action first became style that Zoltz mentions, and that is just having a type of general theme and placing it down there. So you'll have a projects folder, areas folder, resource folder, and then you just go dump it in there. The next PKM style that he talks about is content first or atomic. And this is you create a new page every time you work on something. So the different colors, except for the red one, which is the daily note represents a topic or general topic. So let's assume that the orange colored ones are pages on books. So when you read a book, you create a page and you can have some linking between these pages by having a hashtag or just a metadata field that says books. And that's how you know they are related to each other, but there's no single place you can see all the, the book notes you've taken. You can use the daily notes as a, almost a golden thread throughout the system, but it gets quite difficult. And you also don't spend or record these notes mainly on your daily note. The next one is topic first or MOC, which Nick Milo talks about quite a bit. And this is having a map of content or a homepage for a specific subject. All the other colors would also be an MOC. And you can also try and put a daily note taking system on top of it. But the main concept here is you have a map of content. You have a map of content for key topics. So it's be projects, research topics, hobbies and interest, and so on and so forth. And then we get to one that is closer to the style that I'm using, which is the daily notes first. You have daily notes, which you record all your information off of, and then information feeds through to the different subject areas. How I use it is I would normally have an MOC as part of this as well. So I would not want to use only one structure that we just mentioned, but I would like to use a version that takes a little bit of all these note-taking systems. So you marry them all, and look how they massacred my boy. But we find simplicity in complexity. So to show what goes into a daily note and how I use it in my personal knowledge management system, draw on a couple of pictures. So the red bar represents a week. Within the week, we have seven days. I know there's only four, but yeah, I want to make it easier myself. And each of these red little circles represents a specific date. These dates, are our daily notes and they branch out into all the other notes. So we have the daily notes first system, the red bar is the week and what happens to that week once we fill in the day, we can go check. We have week 45, week 46, week 47 of the year and we can see how it branches out and all these branched out notes that derived or starts at our daily note basically maps back to the map of content. So let's imagine that the green MOC or map of content is our books homepage. From each daily note, we have created or derived a new note and we want it to map back to our reading or books 
homepage. And this is how they all get linked. So now we know how it falls into the week. Let's zoom back into the day and what is the type of things that we want to record on our daily notes. There's a couple of things I want to track. I want to check my food and drink just to see if living healthy or not, or if there's anything I should change my diet. So I have an overview of how much coffee and water I'm consuming, high level breakdown of what my meals consist out of. I have an indication if it was a healthy day or not. I want experiences to be logged there. So let's say I went to a comedy show. I want links to the comedy show's website and location just for easy reference in the future. If I want to commend it to anybody else, I want pictures of the day to remember it by. And those pictures I want to roll up to my weekly note and my weekly note roll that pictures up to my monthly and to my yearly. So this just makes the big picture picture view of how a month or year went quite easy and it brings back memories. I want an exercise log. So if I'm cycling, I want to know how many kilometers I'm cycling. If I'm going to the gym or going to jujitsu, I want to log that activity. I want notes on people. So information from coffee chats, information I don't want to lose in the future. So if they say something interesting, that's information I want to retain and be able to bring up in future conversations. Reading interesting articles or ideas I come across or books I read. I want to capture my favorite song today or if I find a new song or if I want to recommend a song to somebody else, I'll combine the music and the people so that I have that little note or information pop up on both of my MOCs or map of content for my music and people. I want to log the podcast that I'm listening to so that at the end of the week, I can see, okay, these are the podcasts I listen to. From those podcasts insights, I can create new notes. So if I'm reading a book on history or from Marcus Meditations, and it's an interesting idea that comes across, which I quite enjoy, which is uh, Memento Mori remember you will die or that you will die one day. And if I want to make a note specifically on that topic, it branches out from the daily notes, then goals and achievements, get feedback into your weekly and monthly notes. If I am attaining my goals that I set forth for myself each day and yeah, there's a obviously going to be a lot of subjects that we do not cover here, but I just want to give you the general idea of the things that we want to try and capture from our daily notes and then feed back into the rest of our PKM system. So once we created this daily note, we obviously want it to feed back into a weekly note. So if we zoom in here, you can see this red paper represents our weekly notes. So we've captured today we captured all those subjects and then the six other days as well and then we have a summary of all the experiences we had all the exercises we've done all the chats and conversations we had with people all the readings all the cool music that we found listened to all the food that we ate if it was healthy not healthy if we slept well so it's to have a nice little overview for yourself at the end or start of the week just to see how things are are going and then obviously from the weekly note we wanted to roll into the monthly note. So in our monthly note, we obviously want the same type of information just at a bigger scale. So for a specific month, we want to see how the quality of our sleep was, how much coffee or water we drank, how much time we exercised, how much time we spent on social engagements or gaming or watching TV, just that type of information. And then from the monthly, we can feed it back into the yearly note. We can get the full picture. And at the end of the year, you'll have one page with a summary of your monthly, which consists of a summary of your weekly for that specific month, which consists out of a summary out of the seven days within that week. So this would allow you to see if it was a good month or a bad month. And this is something that you don't have to stress if you're looking at the past through a, the, the shades of doom and gloom or through rosy shaded glasses. You have a system that would tell you this is what you did well, this is what you did not do well, this is how much time you spent doing useless activities, this is how much time or amount of hours you spent on social media or how many social engagements you went to in a specific month, experiences you had, and also the photos that would ripple down all the way through from your daily notes to your yearly notes. Now, this obviously takes some time and effort on your part. What we'll try and create in upcoming videos is branching out into each of these daily note structures 
So first we're going to tackle the daily notes. And once we have a structure we can start creating things on, we're going to create an MOC for all of these different categories for tracking purposes. And then we'll tie it back to the weekly, monthly and yearly. So this is probably going to span over uh, two to three videos because there's quite a lot of detail to get through. But if you're interested in the daily notes, using the daily notes structure as your step off points each day for your morning reflection, evening reflection, journaling, goals tracking, and just to get more control of your life and track your, your different elements that make up a good or bad day just a little bit better in order to improve your life in the future, then I suggest that you subscribe because this is going to be a couple of videos.